a digital logic game. Who would have thunk it? Hey, hey, what's up, guys? It's Friday night. Normal people are out having fun. Well, I'm having fun. Just a little abnormal. Anyway, today I thought we would talk about some free apps available from the Google Play Store um, that are useful in our electrical engineering hobby and such. So, let's uh, take a look at some of these. I found, I looked over, I mean, there's, there's hundreds of apps out there, but all of them have varying levels of usefulness. These are some that I thought were either fun or useful. So let's start with Resistor Scanner. Allow Resistor Scanner to take pictures. Yes. Thanks for using my app. Okay, thank you. Okay, don't show again. Goodbye. All right, so here's a resistor. This is a 470 ohm. Let's see what happens. I will hit the auto button. And take a picture. Taking image now. Well, um, not so much. Shall we try again? Taking image now. Taking image now. <laughs> okay, once more. Taking image now. Taking image now. So, not so useful. Resistor scanner. Put that one on the no list. All right, next up, you've seen this one before. I've used it a few times in a couple of videos. This one's called ElectroDroid, and it does have some really useful features. Um, you can just go through here and put in your color codes, and it'll give you an idea of what you're dealing with. It also has them for SMD resistors, which, trust me, those are the ones that get me. 105 calculate one meg so yeah this has some really useful stuff in it one of the things that I find most useful in it um, if you need to set up an op amp it has some stuff to allow you to get the uh, amplification you want uh, LED resistor calculator you can say you know you want to run your LED at uh, 15 milliamp and you're putting in 5 volts then it's going to tell you you need uh, 213 ohm resistor so 220 is the closest you know you got that also good for figuring out your LM317 um, it's got pinouts for some of your different ports and the resources thing here is kind of nice. Uh, it's got a PIC microcontroller database, standard resistor, uh, capacitor marking codes. This one, you know, I give a B plus to. It's pretty useful. So here's another one I downloaded today, um, capacitance codes. You can put in, you know, whatever the capacitor says on it. Say it says 151 select E. And it'll tell you, you know, it's uh, 150 microfarad at 5%. So that one is more or less useful. Now this one here, electronic something or other, electronic light. This one <clears throat> is really good for the absolute beginner. You know, like for instance, if you come in here and you hit Ohm's Law, Did you know electric current and intensity all depend on each other? 
it, it gives you the water um, hypothesis and you know all, all that sort of stuff but it gives you some formulas tells you what a, uh, you know about a PN junction different things that can be useful like I said for a beginner all in all not the most useful of them what I did find to be very useful is this one called every circuit now this one is a free trial and it's $14.99 um, one time but it is kind of neat here are two simple little circuits I just drew up here earlier today how do we load it <laughs> hold on a second okay now it's loaded you can see here's the uh, the little circuit I drew up we have a 5 volt power source a switch a 10k resistor on the base of this NPN transistor and an LED here going to ground if I close the switch I don't know how well you can see that I mean that's lit up green there and it tells you what the current is and what the voltage is at each point in the circuit so yeah like I said I found that one to be pretty nice here's another one with uh, three different color LEDs they are all lit up now it also has some examples like if you're if you're looking to put something together and you're not quite sure of it you know, for instance here's a full wave rectifier and it even gives you a pseudo oscilloscope view of what's going on in the circuit I like I said this program I find to be very useful uh, community you can go into the community and see um, other people's circuits if they load <laughs> give me a second for this to load there we go this one is all nice and loaded up now and you get a you know a pretty good idea of what's going on there also has bookmarks trash I think that one is a pretty nice one now we also have this little logic game which if you're trying to teach yourself digital logic I think something like this could be pretty useful so we have an OR gate gives you a nice idea of what's going on with digital logic circuits like that then we have this one over here for data sheets so you can put in the data sheet for whatever you're looking for the classic NE555 tells you about it tells you the pricing and it will automatically search the internet and find you the data sheet very useful in, in my opinion now this one I haven't played with very much this is a uh, piece of PCB design software so you can go in there's a library there we go and you can get your libraries you can download libraries from the cloud SMD capacitors find out what capacitor you need download the library boom kind of useful so if we get everything let's see every circuit electrodroid capacitance resistor scanner that one that one that one that one oh, and the final one is uh, the LED a resistance calculator so you've got a well, let's say you want to put this on a household circuit so we got 120 volts coming in LED voltage is uh, LED amp 20 milliamp 2 volt boom 
there you go, 5.9 kilo ohm, but it's telling you a 6.8 kilo ohm is the closest one in the range. So again, these are just some uh, simple apps that are free. Again, all except for that every circuit, which I think is the most useful one. And $14.99 compared to buying something like Eagle, very reasonable price. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share. Don't forget to subscribe. Gigantic thanks to all my patrons. With what's going on with YouTube and them demonetizing every video as it goes up, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the patrons. I would have ended this a month ago. Um, if you haven't checked out the Patreon page, please check it out. If you could pledge a buck a month, I'd surely appreciate it. If you don't like the commitment of every month, um, you want to send a one-time help out the channel donation, you can send it to Arduino0169 at gmail.com through PayPal, and I'd appreciate that as well. That's it. I'm out. Peace.